What is a PLC? What does the word PLC mean? Well, it stands for Programmable Logic Controller, which basically means we can control various machines and apparatus using programming logic using electrical signals. So let's quickly talk about the concept of a PLC and how it works, what sort of types of PLCs you get, and what is the purpose of actually learning PLCs. So conceptually, the PLC works on the basic principle of inputs and outputs. Generally speaking, an input would expect a 24 volt signal in most PLCs and give a 24 volt output in most PLCs. The outputs will generally turn on a contactor or a relay, which is like a mechanical switch, uh, which is powered by a 24 volt supply, which will then turn on higher loads such as for your machinery or your apparatus, such as motors and pumps and any other equipment that requires higher current. Generally, there are two different types of PLCs as well. Some are relay PLCs or transistor PLCs, which use inputs and outputs, which are of either type. Each of these types of PLCs have their own purpose. So for example, transistor PLCs are generally used in high speed applications because of how transistors work. They can quickly switch inputs and outputs on as opposed to relays which have mechanical levers which are slow to react and um, need to close mechanically before they can allow current to flow. So why learn PLCs? PLCs are used all over industry for controlling machinery and manufacturing processes. So think companies like which make soft drinks, do bottling, sterilization, Think about your local city where there's traffic lights. So anywhere where there's electrical switching being done in an intelligent way, a PLC is probably at the heart of it. Due to the fact of this, that PLCs are being used in most electrical applications, which have some complexity, there's a huge market for PLC skills and they are growing. So dive into this course with me and learn more about PLCs.